Hi everyone, this is Mukta Sharma. In this video, we will learn what are listeners, how do we implement listeners in our test automation framework and how do we register listeners in order to get the work done. First of all, let's understand what are listeners. So listeners are something which are used to capture the key moments in your test execution cycle. Let's say there is a, let's say you have written some test cases and uh, there are some test cases got failed. Then now you want to capture the screenshot of that. There are some tests which got skipped and you want to make a log of all these uh, skip test cases. Then in that case, you will use listeners. The most common type of listener that we use in our test automation framework is I test listener. Why? Because whenever uh, we execute our test cases, there are high probability that some of the test cases will fail. Some of the test method will fail. So you want to have a you want to have a screenshot of the failed test case. Right, you want to have a screenshot of the failed test screen, that method which got failed. So in that case, you will use and you will implement listeners. I test listener is one such listener which we use to capture the failed test cases. Okay, so this is the framework which I have designed. I designed it last night just to show you the listener concept. This is not the detailed test ng tutorial. So like firstly, when you set up your given Silicon given project, you will see this type of folder structure, right? SRC main Java, SRC test Java, and then some um, this POM XML and this file, right? So what I have done for implementing listeners is you go to SRC test Java. And then in this package src test java i have created three packages one is base package one is listener package one is test package in base package i will create my base class which will have the initial driver setup and driver theory done. when the work is done we will close the driver and then i have separately created one package where i will implement listeners the package name is listeners and then another one more package which name is uh, test so what you have to do you can just simply go to the like you know the uh, folder right click on it click on new and click on package that is how you can create a java package that is how i have created and once package is created you can go to that specific package like i went to the base package i did right click new and class and that is how i created new java class okay so let me show you what all things I have done here in order to use implement uh, I test listener concept in test ng. Let me show you my base test class. So base test class is nothing where I'm initializing the instance of a web driver and then I have created two methods. One is setup method where uh, you, with the help of web driver manager, I am calling the uh, uh, Chrome driver, right? And then I am just getting the URL. In this case, I'm taking example of google.com driver.get. This will fetch me the Google URL. And then one more method I have created, which is tear down, which is like when the work is done, I want to quit the uh, driver. It will close that particular window. I have annotated these two methods with at the rate before method annotation and at the rate after method annotation, which means that before at the, at the rate before method test method will execute before my at test method and at the rate after method, this particular method will execute after my test method. Okay, these are the two annotations I have written and these are the two methods I have declared under my base test class. I hope this is clear. Yeah. Now I will show you the uh, test class which I have created under test package. So if you go to package, right click and just say new class and give the class name i have given the class name as login test okay login test extends base class right this here we are implementing the concept of inheritance using extends keyword we are inheriting the properties of base test class into our login test so login test is a child class and base test is a parent class right in this method what i'm doing i have just given the expected title some the actual title i'm getting it with the help of driver driver dot get title method will give me the title of the uh, browser page which I am accessing and then I have put one validation SR dot SR equals which will compare the actual result with the expected result. 
right and this particular method i have annotated with at the rate test again coming from test ng so in the base test i have written at the rate before method so first that method will execute then this at the rate test this particular method will execute and after that after method which we declared in base test that will execute okay this is about my base uh, this is about my login test class where i am doing the validations now uh, there is one more package which i have created to implement listeners so you can create a separate package under src test java maybe listeners package and then i have created a class screenshot listener dot java class so this is the main concept here you need to understand what do we do here once you understand the concept then it will be easier for you to work on it okay so there is a class i have taken screenshot listener this is a class which implements i test listener now this is the main interface we are talking about okay this will listen to all the key events in your test cycle i test listener this is the interface given by test ng okay what is an interface an interface in java is something which defines some method it has predefined methods and then it leaves the implementation on the class to whichever way they want to implement it as per their requirement it will just give you some methods like this own test failure method is available under under i test listener interface then there are some more methods available in i test in listener interface like own test success own test failure own test pass own test fail you know something like that four five methods are there in this example we are considering the failed test case example where we are trying to capture the screenshot of a failed test case okay i hope till here we are clear screenshot listener is a class which i have prepared which implements i test listener listener is coming from test ng and now we will create a method on test failure on test failure method is already available and defined in i test listener the implementation we will do it as per our requirement okay so whenever you implement any method given by any interface you will do override so that's why we are using overriding here we are using method overriding concept here because on test failure is already a method defined in i test listener but now we are doing our own implementation so we have written at override here i test result result is a uh, this we captured the result of the failed test case okay this is the parameter which will capture the result of the failed test case then i have written object test class is equal to result this result dot get instance so this result parameter will give me the test instance test class instance okay where the test got failed and then with the help of the driver i am saying um, uh, hey uh, hey driver can you go to the specific uh, test class maybe that got uh, extended from the base test class and get me the driver of that class okay get me the driver of that class and then i am printing like okay test got failed here so this you need to understand this is the main implementation that we have done here i hope it is clear if not we can discuss in the comments you can write down in the comments okay and then with the help of try catch block why i am writing try catch block here because this is related to file uh, uh, file operations right let's say something file is not available or you are not able to read the file you don't have permission to read the file then this using try catch it will handle the exception so what i am doing here is file source take screenshot take screenshot is again coming from test ng driver so i am calling basically i am calling my driver again hey driver take the screenshot and get screenshot as method available okay in test ng and then give me the file take it as a file and result dot get name give me the name of that uh, give me the name of the uh, file which i am saving it in a variable called test name which is of string type and then i am using the uh, variable uh, source like i have created one more variable of file type destination and i am calling that uh, you know please save it in this path here i am giving the path like screenshot folder i have created and the test name it should have and it should have a png like type i am specifying before you do everything you create a separate folder in the project root directory like wherever you have pom.xml test and you.xml you create a folder called screenshots just right click on it and new and go to folder 
go to folder and name it as screenshot so that whenever there is a failed test case it will capture the screenshot and put it in your screenshot folder yeah and then file util file util is a class available uh, coming from uh, apache classes right apache common io libraries input output libraries dot copy file i am asking it to copy the file from source to the destination from source source matlab source means from your uh, uh, the uh, uh, test instance from the the page that got failed the method that got failed on that page and put it in the destination destination i have given here the path i have specified here and then with the help of println i am saying screenshot saved for the fail test and test name i am specifying catch is will i'm closing the try catch block io exception e io means input output exception related to file if there is any exception occurred let's say you don't have permissions or file doesn't exist and it will capture the uh, exception e dot print stack trace matlab means it will capture the uh, file related errors right so this is about the implementation i hope it is clear so first what you have to do you have to create a class that should implement i test listener then you will override a method in this case we are using own test failure we are uh, saving the result in a parameter uh, i test result result with the help of this result uh, we are getting the test instance of the page and then we are calling the driver hey driver go to the test class instance and maybe the test class is extended from the base test and then give me the driver of that and then take the screenshot uh, save the screenshot give me the uh, screenshot in a file and then give me the name of that what is the name of the test uh, name that got failed and save it in this file with the extension .png and then give me the print statement the screenshot got saved and now this is the this we have implemented listener in our java class now where do we register it you have to register it to make it work right there are two ways one is you go to the test package and go to your specific java class and then with the help of at listeners you know this keyword you mention this keyword at listeners and then mention the class what was the class name your screenshot listener dot java so i am writing screenshot listener dot class here okay so that whenever this test login method runs it will listen it will call that screenshot listener dot class okay hey hey listener uh, be alert now just see if there is any method fails on this page capture it and take the screenshot um, capture it and put it in the destination path and then uh, you may be thinking if there are like 10 10 methods do we have to specify at listeners at every place so in that case you will use take the help of test ng xml go to your test ng xml and here i have declared the suite name as listener suite and test name listener test and then whichever classes you want to uh, have the listener on you specify the class name here as of now for this particular uh, demonstration i have just created one class which is login test class so i have specified the class name as login test class okay if you have four more classes you can add class name uh, dot search test class name product test similarly like that so this is your test ng xml file okay once you do that now let's try to run and see uh, what is the uh, output okay so these are the three things first you create your base package in that you are uh, cre creating your base java class and then you have created listener package in that you have created your uh, class where the class is implementing i test listener where you are overriding the own test failure method you are giving the implementation as per your requirement and then you are telling the driver to go to the test instance of the uh, page maybe it is extended from base test and then take the screenshot of that method uh, put it in this path and then you are specifying the file path and you are saying okay save it with test name plus dot png like extension should be png and in the login test dot java in your java class you are uh, you are uh, setting the implementation right you are uh, calling the listener and then in test ng.xml you are also creating like as a listener suite if you want to execute it on a suite level then i will just say right click 
and I will say run as and then okay before that let me clear the console because before um, giving this uh, demo I was just you know trying it one time from my side <laughs> just to be sure that it works fine and now let me go to testng.xml here and I will say run as testng.suite so guys first time you may not be able to see testng suite available under run as option right you will only see run configurations for that you need to go to marketplace here and search for testng plugin for Eclipse download that and restart your Eclipse after that when you restart your Eclipse and see you will see the test ng suite option before that it won't be available to you okay so I'll do uh, test ng suite run as test ng suite launching selenium test ng result running job uh, don't worry about uh, these uh, red lines that's okay so it's opening google browser and closing and closed so here it is showing test field this was what we require taking screenshot and it is showing screenshot saved for failed test test login now if i show you my uh, listener java class screenshot listener dot java this is what i had written here right after you copy the file from source to destination with the println statement i am printing screenshot saved for failed test what is the test name test login it is showing and then listener suite to total test run one passes zero failure one skip zero now you must be thinking uh, mukta where do we see the screenshot so you go to the project where you have created your project do the right click go to there is some option called show in yeah i think show in and you go to system explorer go to your project name do the right click show in and then go to system explorer click on the system explorer it will take you to the your you know your machine and uh, the project folder click on that you should be able to see a screenshot folders here double click on it and then you will see see test login is the name of the uh, page name of the method which we created and this is the screenshot here which got captured it is saying it is failed here yeah so guys these are the method these are the steps which we have performed in order to use implement and register uh, um, listeners first you create a listener class then you implement it uh, via i test listener interface i test listener interface provides you couple of uh, methods which we can use but then it leaves the implementation to the class to whichever way they want to use it and then override the method on test failure in this case we are trying to capture the screenshot of a failed test case so that's why we have used uh, we have used own test failure similarly you can try with other method also then accessed web driver from the base test taking the screenshot using take screenshot method then saving it to the screenshot folder that's why we have given the path and then register listener with test ng and then you can just do the job so guys this was all about um, test listeners let me know if you find this video useful so that i can show you more such quick demos in the future all right guys thanks so much for watching bye